you know, one of my dreams is to be a, a structural engineer. And, you know, getting to do a bridge project was amazing because that's something I've always been interested in. My name is Matthew Aguayo, fifth year civil engineering student here at the University of Portland. Uh, a senior capstone project is the culmination project for um, engineering students. Where our capstone team was four of us, right? So it's uh, myself, Miss Eel, uh, Hallie, and Grace. And so um, we all have different unique skill sets that we like to use and um, work with each other to help like make the project work. Here at UP, you partner with the industry. So in my case, I partner with ODOT. So our bridge is uh, located off um, North Portland Avenue. Um, it's about a few miles uh, to the northeast of this campus. The purpose of our project was essentially that um, the bridge is very old. It was built in 1932. And at this point in time, uh, maintenance costs just made it, have gotten very high and made it inefficient to keep it in its current state. And so what we did is we partnered with ODOT to work to um, develop a plan to demolish the bridge and then reconstruct it in a way that it would be both durable to withstand the next hundred years and also be sustainable so that way it wouldn't impact the wildlife and ecosystems beneath. And so you want to make sure that you're building something that's safe for them to travel across and commute daily. Um, so we'd look at things such as the um, ash tow, a bunch of different books that we had to look at and ensure that like we were following the right processes uh, when like calculating things such as girder calcs or the deck design, how thick it needed to be, how wide could the bridge be. Um, so that thing just took a lot of time. Um, but so we ended up going with the multi-use path and the sidewalk because um, for one, we noticed that um, throughout many roads in Portland, you have a lot of bicyclists that go through. And with the bridge in its current state, it's very narrow. And so when bicyclists uh, traverse over the bridge, it's very dangerous for them because there's not much room for them to move left or right if a car comes across. And so we tried to solve that by making a wide um, multi-use path on the east side of the bridge. That way it'll allow bicyclists to safely go across it's great to see the process of what it takes to go from idea to um, you know, creating an alternative analysis of different materials and you know, looking at the configuration, what would work best for this project in particular, and then designing it. And then um, finally then presenting it to the public, which is incredible. We were fortunate to have great people around us and a great network of um, uh, faculty advisors and industry advisors that helped guide us through the process of what it looks like to design a bridge and what steps need to be taken and how to mitigate some of the challenges and go through those loopholes.